Hello everyone, this is one Ashish from Dark Labs India. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the easiest way to make pixel stretch effect in Photoshop. So let's continue. Let's start by putting an image here. I have downloaded this image through pixels. I will mention the download link below so that you can practice on the same image. Now let's first resize this image. Make sure you don't stretch the subject too much as this will decrease the image quality. Now we are going to separate this subject from the background and for that we will use the pen tool by pressing P. Now cutting out the subject will take time and precision so I am going to speed it up. Until then enjoy the music. Alright, so here I am going to use select and mask tool to smoothen out the rough edges because I wasn't careful with the subject. So I am adding two values in smooth and two values in feather which I think will give me the best output. Now I will press on the mask icon. As you can see we still have some unwanted areas so let's erase them too. We'll select quick selection and simply erase it with the brush. Now let's zoom in and clear this small area too. Now let's move over to the left side also and repeat the same process. Let's zoom out and I think it looks perfect for now. Alright, so I'm going to apply the mask clear. This is a step you can avoid. I'm doing this because I don't like that blue box so big. As you can see, the blue box is small now, which is easy to navigate. Now let's try putting a suitable background here. First, we will put a solid color background. Now let's push this layer below and change the color. Now let's try putting a gradient behind the subject. As you can see I have plenty of gradient options as I am going to put a lighter background here. Now you can spend plenty of time here and make your perfect combination. The only limit here is your skills. I must say these settings are fun to play with. When you are satisfied with the result, hit OK. Now let's continue with the main objective of this tutorial. Alright, so below the move tool there is a tool called rectangular marquee tool. 
click on that now let's zoom in and select the portions of image which you want to stretch after that press ctrl plus j on keyboard Let's push this box to the top. Let's zoom in and select another shade of color using the same process. Now again press Ctrl J on keyboard. Now let's fast forward it to the point where I selected all the necessary colors. Now select all these layers by holding shift and press ctrl plus e to make it one layer. Let's rename it to pixel. Now let's put up this layer behind subject for a better visibility. Now go to filter then distort and then polar coordinates. Let's zoom out and see what Photoshop has rendered. In my opinion, it looks perfect. Resize the circle and I would suggest you to do it perfectly. With the circle layer being selected, we are going to mask it or in simple terms, we are going to erase the excess circle layer to make it look more good. Alright, so the image looks perfect now, but it still has something missing and that will be the drop shadow. We will make that to give it more of a professional look. Make a new layer and use brush tool. Now make sure your foreground color is black. We will be using a soft round brush for this. Now make your brush size a little big and simply click two times. Now press V to decrease it from horizontal sides and stretch it from vertical side. Move the shadow accordingly. Now you can change its blend mode and it depends on what type of blending you want for this shadow. Easy method for this is decreasing the opacity of the brush. That's it. Now move the shadow accordingly. It looks perfect for now. Let's try changing its background gradient. I have a lot of variety to choose from. This gradient suits my image so I am gonna hit ok. As you can see, it looks flawless from all angles. I'll show you another example which I made using the same image and posted it on my Instagram handle. So this is it. Oh wait, let me just readjust the shadow below. Now it looks just as perfect. This is what we made versus this is what I posted on my Instagram. Alright, this is me, one Ashish from Dark Labs India. Stay tuned for more variety of Adobe tutorials and of course Cinema 4D tutorials. Thank you.